Okay, so we're gonna take a road trip today. Um, there's a storm, Hurricane Milton in the works right now out in the Gulf of Mexico, but we gotta go and prep for this thing. And from what I'm understanding, it's everybody's going crazy right now. Um, this thing is gonna be coming in strong. It's gonna be one of the most deadliest storms since like 1921 hitting Tampa. Tampa, if you're down there, get out. You guys are screwed. So this thing apparently is supposed to be hitting us on Wednesday at some point, and it's Sunday. So I want you guys to see that this is what the roads look like right now. This is Sunday afternoon here in Orlando area. And there's nobody out here. We've had flood advisories since last night going until Thursday. I have never seen that before in my life. Even going through blizzards and stuff like that, I've never seen an advisory go out that lasts almost a week. That's nuts. Oh, I'm in for it. This parking lot to Walmart right now is packed. Oh, this is going to be... Oh, there's a shopping cart right here, too. Yeah. This place is packed. Oh, man. What did I get myself into? Yeah, just walking into this store right now is insane. I literally got to go through different aisles just to kind of get over to the food section and pet section where we need stuff over there. I do want to show you guys, if you live in here in Florida or in an area that has a lot of storms, I do want to show you something that you guys really should be picking up in case your internet or TV and stuff like that goes out because so what I'm going to show you, it will be beneficial for updates and stuff for even just entertaining you during a storm. Here at Walmart, they got a bunch of these. These are actual TV antennas that you can use inside your house. but. Your internet goes out, everybody's TV's through the internet now. So in the back of every TV, there's an antenna port. So you can actually use one of these to pick up local TV station news feeds and all that. So this way you're actually informed about what's going on with the weather, you get entertainment and stuff like that as well. So I would, you know, one of the HD ones and stuff like that is good. So like, there's even outdoor ones that you can get too. I have one of those antennas at home and I actually use it quite often, um, not just for the storms because there's actually channels on there that you can actually watch that are actually really cool channels. Like look, even all the cat litter is just basically gone right now. Everybody's stocking up for everything right now. All the soda is basically gone. Let's go over here and take a look. All the snacks are gone. Everybody's stocking up on hurricane snacks. It's like the goddamn hurricane came through the snack aisle. What the hell? What? <laughs> oh, I feel bad for these Walmart employees. The other day when we were here, this whole cake rack here was full. If you wanted water, Forget about it. This is what happens. One thing they got are those splash ones over there. Even all the um, bottled ones over here, the, the flavored ones are basically almost gone. Oh my gosh. The beer. Everybody's stocking up for the hurricane parties because like, look at this. This is normally full over here. 
Oh my gosh. All the buttons are going. <laughs> it's crazy. All the wine is selling out. Shoot, even all the eggs are gone. Let's go check out what the paper towel and toilet paper aisle looks like. This is ridiculous. Oh, <laughs> Trash bags are going flying off the shelf too. See, it's a good thing Jess and I only need to like kind of like stock up little things here and there because we are kind of already stocked up or one of the more, uh, recent storms that we had so we're kind of got stuff left over but we'll, we'll see what happens on this one toilet paper <laughs> not today not today unless you want a walmart brand all the <laughs> pun intended crappy brands are, are are the only thing that's left I want to say what's ridiculous is the fact that Walmart has these people out in the aisles right now literally stocking up people who are doing mobile orders. Now we're in the store trying to do this. They're blocking up their whole aisle and everything. People trying to walk through. I mean, literally you see nothing on the shelves right now. Why aren't you doing this overnight at Walmart? Why? This is ridiculous. Like I said, like nothing on the Walmart shelves right now. Pasta sauce, I'm gone. All the sandwich meat is just annihilated. <laughs> Go check out the meat section. I mean, there's plenty of chicken right now. Plenty of chicken. And there's plenty of, well, not too much steaks and stuff, but most of those are gone. It's crazy. They keep trying to stock the stuff up, but it's just gone. Like, there's plenty of chop meat right now, too, though, so. That's good. But the seafood? Yeah, the seafood's basically gone too. Alright, we're about to get out of here. This place is nuts. Got what I needed and we're done. Alright, we're out of Walmart. Goddamn Walmart security. We're out of Walmart and if you are in the path of this hurricane and you're watching this. You need to get out and actually get out there to go to Walmart. If not, by the time you're watching this, honestly, it's probably too late. Everything in the store is probably gone. I'm being honest with you right now because that was chaotic. It was nuts. Um, I definitely should have done that earlier in the week when this storm started being predicted to be a major one. I should have done it like yesterday. It's Sunday. I should have done it Saturday. Um, fortunately enough for Jess and I, we actually have stuff at home already. So this was just kind of restocking our, our pantry kind of thing and kind of getting food just for tonight and, and things like that, you know, just in that aspect. So we, we've learned to keep things on hand and just touch up as needed. So, but yeah, it's, it's chaotic in the stores right now. This is what every gas station looks like right now. It is packed up. You got people just sitting around everywhere. I mean, all these gas stations waiting to get gas right now and they're all running out of gas real quick too. So now that I'm back home from shopping at Walmart, let me tell you something, my guys. That was crazy. That experience was nuts. Um, today, Jess and I are literally just at home doing not much of anything. We're just literally just sitting here waiting to storm out. Um, so, I mean, look, honestly, we live here in an apartment, so what, there's not much we can do. Um, it's not doing much outside. It's just a rainy day right now. The next couple days is gonna be rainy days. But here's the issue. The next couple days being rainy before the hurricane is just gonna be wet. It's gonna be very saturated. The grounds are gonna be saturated. They're talking about some strong winds pushing through the Orlando area, which means the ground's wet, like I said. I know one keeps saying this, the ground's wet. Saturated ground, winds and everything else, you know, with the hurricane and more rain and stuff. So yes, we're gonna have a lot of issues in this area. There's probably gonna be a lot of downed trees. There's gonna be a lot of power outages. What can you do? Not much. So we're just gonna sit here, wait it out. I'll give an update each day 
kind of you know what's going on like i got to go to work this week um I, you know i work outside so god only knows what's going to happen with that um if i'm actually going to be called into work or what but like i said we'll we'll find out we'll find out we're just going to play it by ear i'm going to play it safe as well jess is going to stay safe also that's all i can say so i'll update more and more videos as we get more updates and we'll go that way. I don't think we're gonna do live streams this time because I'm not gonna pay for stream yards. It's just not happening, not paying for stream yards. If we do live, it may be through my phone and kind of just give little updates here and there for a little bit of time. I don't know, I, I don't know. I don't know, don't quote me on any of this. Don't know what's gonna happen. All I know is that we're in full prep mode for a hurricane and like other YouTubers, I'm not going to the theme parks. We're staying home. We're staying home here. We're playing safe. So we'll be back in more videos and give you guys more Hurricane Milton updates. If you want more information about these storms, definitely log on uh, to like uh, YouTube and things like that to like New Six Orlando and you know things like that. That's you know Fox Hasn't Five. Been twenty four. Um, Fox 13 in Tampa, you know, these these channels are really good um, for information and live coverage and stuff like that as well. 